Hi everyone, welcome to our Swanee video for Tennessee's College Application Week to help guide you through how to apply to Swanee if you are interested. Um, and I'll mention this is going to be a short video, so I won't get to give you the, the biggest overview of Swanee, but I am hopeful that if you are thinking about applying, then you, you've done some of that research or discernment already. But lots of resources on our website and happy to, to connect with you through the process as well. Um, and again, I'm Taylor Baird and I work in the Office of Admission at Swanee. And we will just dive right into this to help you navigate how to apply. Um, so thinking about that, just wanted to give you a little bit of context with our um, 2020 entering class profile. So the students who came to Swanee in the fall of 2020, um, a little bit of, of numbers and detail here of the makeup of that class. Um, and for you to be able to see our range of SAT and ACT scores as well as our average GPA. Uh, I wanted to mention that these are not cutoffs or minimums. Um, again, that middle 50% range in our average GPA. Um, we are test optional, so that means you have the choice to submit ACT, SAT, or no scores at all. And there is no negative impact for admission review or in scholarshiping if you choose to be test optional. So definitely want to clarify that. And we look at the weighted GPA, and we look at that in the context of your high school. Right, so, so looking at the classes you've been able to take, how have you done, um, and we don't recalculate. So we do not have a specific formula or recalculation. So what you see on your particular high school transcript, face value, is what we will bring in and evaluate. Um, so again, more to um, unpack there. If you, if you have particular questions one-on-one -on -one for your transcript or your high school, please reach out to me or to our office. Um, admis at swana.edu. I'm going to toggle over to our website in a moment, and so you'll also be able to see there how to get in touch with us. All right. So what does it take to get in? What are we looking for, and how do you navigate that? So the big takeaway here is that we are a common application school. So if you're not familiar with the Common App, um, about 900 colleges and universities, you know, across U.S. and abroad utilize this platform. It's online. Um, it works on, you know, a device as far as a mobile device or a computer. Um, so if you access a Wi-Fi, you'll be able to do that and, and, and submit the Common App. That's the only way to apply to Swanee. So that's the one platform. Um, so we don't have a specific school application. That's the platform we use. It's, uh, we try to make it pretty streamlined. So we look for the one personal essay and two letters of recommendation included with the Common App. But outside of that, there's no additional supplemental essays or information that you're gonna need to submit. On top of that, we don't have an application fee, so it is free to submit your Common Application to Swanee. Um, and like I said, if you, if you have an account, you'll make sure that you add Swanee as one of your recipient schools. Um, if you don't have an account, it's easy to make and free to make an account, and then you'll be able to browse what schools are on there, including Swanee. Um, you are going to be considered for all of our academic scholarships when you submit your common application. So again, very streamlined. You, there's nothing additional you need to submit for academic scholarships. If you are completing um, or hoping to complete forms for need-based aid consideration, that will be the FAFSA and the CSS profile. So I'll show you in a moment again on our website how to toggle over to those. Um, but if you are completing that in your college process, again, very similar to Common App, you're just gonna make sure that Swanee is a recipient school of that financial information so that we can provide your, your whole financial aid package. And for us, that's gonna include merit scholarships, so that academic aid, need-based aid, and then in the, you know, institutional aid as well. And then here, just some guidance on what to do um, once you submit your application or as you're submitting, um, and just a reminder again, we're test optional. Um, if you're submitting scores, they could be SAT or ACT. So again, the choice there. Um, you could submit those scores through ACT or the College Board, or you can self-report those through our website using a form. So that way you're not having to pay the fee and wait for them to come from the testing agency. So again, the takeaway here is that we want this to be as simple and streamlined as possible um, and to not add any additional stress. So I think it's pretty intuitive once you're on the comment, that is, that is your main, um, main component and what you'll hit submit that I'll send over to the university. All right. And here are our deadlines. Again, these are on our website, but I wanna make the distinction between early decision versus early action regular decision. 
So early decision, if you are all in, you've got your Swanee sweatshirt on, you know that's where you wanna call home, which we are excited about, um, then you would wanna apply either November 15 or January 15. So I would obviously say early decision one is where we see the most of, of our early decision applicants. And so that's a binding decision. It means that if you're admitted, you are planning to enroll and come to Swanee. So again, it's not the right fit for every student, but about 25% of students who come to Swanee will, will choose to apply early decision. Um, and then after that, we do see most of our students applying early action because you know, that means you have from now in September to December to actually complete the application and hit submit, um, but it doesn't really commit you, right, to coming to Swanee. So you still have the spring of 2021 to make that decision, perhaps visit campus um, and, and make that final choice of where you're gonna enroll um, in the spring or the fall of 2021. And I'll make a quick mention of the total direct cost right here. So around 98% of our students are not paying that, that total direct cost. So we have academic scholarships, like I mentioned, that you'll be automatically considered for. And those range really from 5,000 up to full cost of attendance. And then we are committed to meeting 100% of demonstrated financial aid for students who apply and qualify for need-based aid. Um, so a lot of different facets that are, are coming into play there and that we're considering that essentially just subtract from that direct cost. So again, if you're considering Swanee, please apply and submit those financial aid documents and so that we can package that for you to have the, the, the full information to make that choice. All right. And this is the Swanee pledge. So some other promises and prongs of what does a Swanee education mean? Um, so again, access to summer internship or research opportunity, that's paid for, um, access to study abroad at no additional cost, and that you will graduate in four consecutive years. So some important components to think of, you know, what does it mean to come to Swanee and apply to Swanee? And quickly in our last few minutes, I will toggle over to the page of the link provided. So it'll take you here, some great videos and other content that you can explore. Um, but you would really want to go here, so get started on your application process. As a reminder, so lots of information here, deadline reminders, some statistics, and right here, simple to apply. You, um, if you already have your Common App account, you go straight to that website or we'll link you here. So you could create it or log in and, and add Swanee and submit, start working. Um, You'll also be able to see more information about types of applicants and then what happens once you've applied. So this is a really useful page. And up here, so you'll see you're on admission and aid, all of these different opportunities to learn a little bit more. Cost and financial aid will be important. Again, you could quickly Google FAFSA and CSS profile, um, but we'll provide some more information here and then link you to both of those. So if you wanna learn more about financial aid and especially meaningful need, then you can do that on this page and we'll link you to the FAFSA and the CSS profile, which are both those, um, the financial documents um, would kind of happen simultaneously to completing the Common App. So they run parallel, but you would need those three components if you're applying to Swanee and applying for need based aid. So that is kind of the very short version that we wanted to provide you to help you navigate our website and the Common App. Um, Super excited that you're considering applying to Swanee. Please reach out to us should you have any more questions. Again, I'm Taylor Baird in the Office of Admission. Um, my email is taylor.baird at swanee.edu. And you can find us all on the website I just showed you or a general admission email is admis at swanee.edu. Thanks so much and want to encourage you all through this process and can't wait to hopefully see some of you on our campus next fall.